So, right now the moon is at 67.5% illumination in the sign of Virgo. Headed towards that half moon in Libra in two days. Uh, today, Mercury went, went direct. <laughs> Sorry, my words are going to work today, I swear. Um, yeah, so Mercury went direct today. So, we're, um, we're getting back into that, being able to think clearly. The mental fog is dissipating, right? Um, at least those of us who are affected by Mercury retrograde. Some people, you know, they really get positive results through the Mercury retrograde. I feel that, like, it's very, um bittersweet you know like some people come from your past but you know you need resolution sometimes those cords get tighter sometimes those cords get cut like um but connecting with these people from our past helps teach us something about ourselves so ultimately there's always some positive aspect to mercury retrograde at least from my experience so let's see who you are what messages do you need today? So, who are you? We have earth element, survival, adaptable, and reliable. Um, this, you could be an earth sign, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or you could simply be in just this very grounded energy, you know, this um, adapting to change, being reliable, focusing on your personal foundations. Um, so, let's see, let's get to the nitty gritty. I do appreciate this energy because though it is grounded, it is also growing, if that makes sense. Um, that earth energy always gives me this, this perspective of growth, right? As well as groundedness. So let's see what that means specifically for you. Also, I'd like to mention, if this reading does not resonate with you, I have other timeless readings. Um, take what resonates, leave the rest for those who the message is for, you know? Um, yes. So let's see. What message do you need today? This is interesting. This is either in your recent past or this is your current energy. Um, so with the Eight of Swords, it's like you didn't see something coming. Right? It's like uh, something kind of just hits out of left field, right? Um, then we have the Tower. Um, so it could be something falling apart or... Um, kind of an unexpected tower moment. You know, tower moments are about something like coming to completion, about something falling apart, you know, to make room for something else. Um, typically the energy of the tower though is divine intervention, right? Like, you wouldn't have left the comfort of the tower if you weren't put in that position, right? If you 
if the tower wasn't like struck down, you never would have left. So there's this energy of something having to happen as like a form of divine intervention. Let's get some clarifiers on these. Let's clarify the Eight of Swords and the Tower. Yeah. Heavy Leo energy showing up. We have the Sun. It showed up in reverse. However, there's no reverse meaning for the Sun, right? The Sun card is all about abundance and, you know, getting that divine assistance over this, like, wall or over some obstacles and, like, really getting that um, desired outcome, right? Then we have King of Wands. This is very Leo energy, right? That's King of Fire with the Sun card, which is Leo, and, um... So you could be a Leo or have heavy Leo placements. Um, the King of Wands is a strong leader. This is somebody who lives in the core of their truth, somebody of integrity, somebody who's warm and compassionate, somebody who's driven, inspired, and inspiring, right? Like you have this very attractive energy about you, right? So, and I don't necessarily doesn't necessarily mean like supermodel type of attractive it's like your energy is attractive like you attract opportunities or you attract partnerships or you attract certain scenarios and, and situations based on this energy that you carry right and that's not to say that you're not physically attractive as well I'm just saying what I'm seeing here is the energy of being attractive if that makes sense um, clarifying the tower, we have the judgment card. This only further clarifies that there is some sort of divine intervention here, right? Um, it's like, yeah, there was a divine intervention, or there is going to be. With the Ace of Pentacles, this is to really put you into a new cycle, right? To help you close out something something old or something played out, right? It's kind of like shutting the doors to the past and really opening up to this new future, um, opening up to new potentials. We have the Seven of Cups in reverse here. You could be choosing to be single at this time or choosing um, to really focus more on personal development over relationships or either that or you could just be like, if you are in the mode of trying to date, I do see like blockages there where you're, you might be struggling to find Somebody that you view as compatible. So let's get some clarity on that. Cups in reverse. Clarified by the Six of Swords in reverse. This is the energy of like, Six of Swords is somebody who like walked away from a situation, right? Six of Swords in reverse is like somebody coming back or returning um, for some kind of resolution here, right? Perhaps this is why you're struggling with finding different options. You could... You could have, like, um, strong feelings for somebody that you've known for a while or, um, 
even be an ex or some some kind of energy like that it's like it definitely looks like a connection that you tried to walk away from and ignore or whatever but i'm seeing this energy of like reminds me of that prince song that nothing compares to you right <laughs> Um, and it's almost like either you're in the energy of feeling this or somebody else is in that energy feeling it towards you, but it's definitely this energy of struggling to replace you or you're struggling to replace somebody else. What else do you need to hear? moon in reverse with Pisces energy and this is like the energy of somebody not wanting to communicate something or not wanting to like shed light on perhaps how they feel their personal truth with the queen of wands in reverse right here I see that somebody could be like I want to say like lying, but they're like withholding information, right? Or they're like they're moving in silence, whether that's you or the person that you're dealing with. It definitely looks like somebody here is moving in silence or somebody is like they don't want to come forward about how they feel or whatever. With the Queen of Swords, I see them kind of in this energy of cutting things off and kind of like accepting their losses, right? This is also somebody who comes off as very like cold and to the point, very sharp, um, very strong-willed. And it, it just kind of looks like... They could even be ending, like, you could be in no contact with them, right? Like, there could be communication blocks. What is your bias at this time? right now is to focus on your priorities you know focus on your home life focus on what is within your realm of control Pentacles in reverse, uh, mock tube, right? It is written. So with the two pentacles in reverse, it's like I'm seeing like a chain of events that's kind of set in stone, right? Like a decision has already been made and it's butterfly affecting, right? It's like there's a ripple effect due to decisions being made, right? And with the tower and the judgment, this divine interference is kind of like indicating that this is a series of events that needs to occur, right? This is something that 
It is written. Hey, Mach 2. Ace of Swords. I do see a truth coming to light inevitably, right? Even if somebody is trying to withhold that with the moon in reverse and the Queen of Wands in reverse, um, I do see that inevitably something will be like brought to the surface, right? But it is definitely, it's a challenge to get there. It's like somebody here does not want to be vulnerable. Um, if you notice, like Horus has the same dagger that you see in the Queen of Swords, right? And so, um, I do feel this, uh, this energy that, like, somebody is divinely guided, right? And kind of just working in accordance with that, like, they're not going to take certain actions or they're not going to say certain things without um, feeling divinely, like, uh, assisted, if that makes sense. the magician here somebody is manifesting something um we have one 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 on the board so far and it's all about like new beginnings new cycles with the magician that's resourcefulness and manifestation that's like bringing your vision into reality right bringing that into fruition. With the Knight of Pentacles, this could be in regards to a job offer or opportunity. Um, yeah, because what else is showing up is the Five of Pentacles with the Justice in Reverse. And it looks like in this last year, you could have taken some financial hits, right? I mean, especially with the holidays and whatnot, but it does look like there were financial setbacks. And I do see kind of like this comeback energy with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. It's like excessive spending, right? Which holidays and that kind of stuff happens, right? It happens. So... I definitely see that, yeah, there could have been financial difficulties or setbacks, but I, I see that coming back around, right? It's like everything you spend is coming back to you multiplied. Um, with that sun card, I definitely see illumination on that, right? And I kind of getting that assistance over like obstacles and barriers. So I do see I do see things turning out well. We have two of cups. I do see a potential union here, right? Um Two of Cups is specifically romantic partnerships. Uh, and then we have Eight of Cups in reverse, right? This is very similar to that Six of Swords in reverse, right? It's like somebody who walked away, but I see returning. So this could be somebody who is a friend or an ex or something, but this is somebody that, like, you may have had a falling out with or like you went no contact with with the queen of wands in reverse and the moon in reverse it's like there could have been like that 
a period of time of no contact, but I see that kind of like turning around. Um, Knight of Wands in reverse, there could also be the energy of you rejecting communications from others, uh, you know, or like, um, or somebody is rejecting communication from others, perhaps as a result of this union, you know. I'm just seeing a full turnaround, right, like, I'm seeing, like, if you have suffered, like, loss or rejection or difficulties, you know, any kind of lack, um, I'm seeing this turnaround, right, and I'm seeing you really um, entering into a period of time where you just start gaining, right? You got the Ace of Pentacles, the Magician, um, you know, new cycles, new growth, new opportunities. I'm definitely seeing, like, anything that was stagnant or, like, if your blessings were kind of, like, on hold or whatever, I'm seeing that, like, turn around for you. Very optimistic. I like this. Eight of Pentacles is showing up, and I do see that you're you're very focused on your work. You're focused on your talents, you're focused on, you could be an entrepreneur even with the cards that are coming up. It definitely feels like very boss energy, or you could be getting some sort of promotion or entering into a new field of expertise. Um... But the Ace of Wands in reverse, followed up by the Knave of Wands in reverse, I do see more of this energy of you rejecting certain uh, communications that are coming through, or like kind of. But that's because there's something that you're not rejecting, right? It's like, because uh, the Knave of Cups is showing up, right? The Knave of Chalices. And this tells me that. You are open to an offer of love and companionship, and you're open to a business partnership or opportunity with the Knave of Pentacles or with the Knight of Pentacles as well. So I'm seeing like potential growth in the areas of your love life and your business life. And if you're already in a connection, I could, I just see that that growing and growing stronger right and if if you're set at where you are in work I see you kind of going into the next level or like some sort of promotion or raise here um, I'm seeing you kind of being held up right in society um, or leveled up that's way to put that. All right, let's see what the Kali cards have to say.
I'm seeing a lot of stability for you, especially starting out with that earth energy. It's like, I'm seeing like anything that may have felt like chaos recently is going to be leveled out, you know, and things are just going to rebalance themselves. to your most passionate inspirations. There are genius and wisdom in what you yearn to do. You have a greater capacity to attain fruition than those around you may recognize. Believe in yourself even if no one else does. It is not imagination that drives you toward your destiny, but the instinctive recognition of your true purpose. If there's anything else for you before we close this out. Durga Kalika. In unusually challenging situations, the ways we have supported ourselves during more ordinary times are insufficient. We need, we, we need to be open to divine inspiration, protection, and proceeding in new ways. Here's a portent of unexpected success. Even if everything appears to be going against you, the tide shall turn through divine grace. And that is what I have for you. I hope this was helpful. Namaste. I love you guys and I will see you later.